Trump reacts to Biden 2024 announcement, says most corrupt president in history. And <laughs> no one can dispute this. I wish someone would try to try to tell me that that's not true. Because everyone knows I can run down the laundry list of things that's, that Joe Biden is doing. It shows his corruption. His whole entire family is involved in his corruption. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram. In my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Joe Biden announced his 2024 re-election bid in a video early this morning. I guess with a dementia patient, it's uh, better to have a video you can edit or redo several times instead of attempting an in-person announcement for which Democrats have to find people who actually want to attend. Let's finish the job, the announcement said, which seemed more like a threat than a slogan. Former President Donald Trump responded with a strong condemnation of Biden's failed um, presidency. And no one can tell me that his presidency is a a success. Look at our country. Look at how how uh, divided we are. Look at our economy. I mean, look at what's going on with the with the Ukraine war and how we given billions of dollars to this country. And I mean, it's just countless things. But um, it is notable that whereas Biden's video was vague and aspirational and didn't cite any specific accomplishments, but he don't have really have any accomplishment to cite anyway, or policy goals, Trump video has a list of Biden's many failures along with specific and measurable promises. Regardless of Trump's mistakes or failures in the past, his video made a much stronger case than Biden's did. Not that it's hard to outdo one of the least popular presidents in recent history. Um, I'm not really going to play Trump's video. Um, you can you can look it up online, but he basically said, quote, you could take the five worst presidents in American history and put them together, and they would not have done the damage that Joe Biden has done to our nation in just a few short years. Not even close, Trump began. Thanks to Joe Biden's socialist spending calamity, American families are being decimated by the worst inflation in a half a century. Banks are failing, our currency is crashing, and the dollar will soon no longer be the world standard currency, which will be our greatest defeat in over 200 years. America's most aggressive enemy, the Chinese Communist Party, gleefully boasted recently that the dollar's hegemony is crumbling while the Chinese yuan is ascendant. That's certainly uh, not promising. And Trump continued to list Biden's economic failures. Quote, real wages have been falling for 24 months in a row. In other words, under Biden, workers have gotten a pay cut each and every month for two years straight. That is, increases in wages have not kept up with inflation, meaning that even workers who are making more money can afford to buy less. He goes on to say, we have surrendered our energy independence, just like we surrendered in Afghanistan, which we have um, um, just a short time ago. And the price of gasoline just hit a five month high and is going much higher than that. Trump predicted under my leadership, we had the most secure border in U.S. history by far, but no more, Trump said. Under Biden, the southern border has been abolished and millions of illegal aliens have been released into our communities. A recent report says hundreds of military-aged Chinese males are lining up to head towards the U.S. border on a daily basis, basis, raising fears that a quasi-military invasion is already occurring. Increasingly higher record numbers of illegal migrants have been crossing the southern border since Biden took office. I mean, that's you can't argue against that. But, quote, what's happening now at the border is beyond belief, Trump went on. They're coming in uh, from um, mental institutions and prisons are all being emptied. They're being dumped into the United States of America. Many of those people are very dangerous. We're like a dumping ground. Border Patrol reported a 600% spike in the number of potential national security risks. 
illegal migrants for fiscal year 2022. The former president also referred to the rising crime in Democrat-controlled cities and states. He says, our cities have been overrun with homeless, drug addicts, and violent criminals who are being released from jail in mass with no retribution whatsoever, while law enforcement is weaponized against law-abiding conservatives or Republicans or people they just don't like. The FBI and DOJ have targeted multiple pro-lifers, parents concerned about leftist indoctrination in schools, traditional Catholics, and Trump allies. Hunter Biden still hasn't been held accountable for his numerous criminal acts, of course. Trump then called out the LGBTQ propagandizing our kids, quote, our children are being indoctrinated and mutilated by left-wing freaks and zealots, he said. The senior ranks of our military have gone completely woke and our military is suffering greatly. Biden has totally humili humiliated our nation on the world stage, starting with Afgan the Afghanistan disaster. It meant so much to our enemies when they watched that horrible retreat. Meanwhile, Trump noted the powerful dictatorships of the world are uniting, not just with each other, but against the United States. Russia is teaming up with China. Iran is days away from a nuclear bomb, Trump said. Ukraine has been devastated by an invasion that would never, ever have happened if I was president. And Joe Biden has led us uh, to the very brink of World War III. They say Trump was right about everything. Well, I'm not predicting World War III, but I will say this. We're very close, and they're only talking about nuclear weapons. Um, um, both Russia and China have warned the U.S. about possible nuclear war. On top of it all, Biden is the most corrupt president in American history, and that's not even close, Trump insisted. With Garage Gate, the Hunter Biden scandals, and financial ties to China, Biden's corruption is increasingly obvious. With such a calamitous uh, uh, and failed presidency, it is almost inconceivable that Biden would even think of running for re-election. Trump also said that they cheated. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about what they cheated with, but y'all know what the implications is that Trump been making um, because of the platform that I own. I can't talk about that. So um, everything was fair according to the platform that I'm on. But I promise you this, when I stand on the debate stage and compare our records, it will be radical Democrats worst um, nightmare because there never been a record as bad as they have. And our country has never been through so much. And I, I mean, you can't argue any of, against any of that. And Trump said there's also never been more of a contrast between two successive president administrations. Um, quote, our being greatness and theirs being failure. With your support in the election, we will defeat Joe Biden in 2024. We will rescue our economy. We will crush inflation. We will stop the invasion of our southern border. We will restore our nation's dignity. And we will prevent World War III from happening. Together, we will all make America great again. In the lead up to the 2024 election, it's important to have the latest and most accurate um, uh, uh election-related news. So go ahead and check me out on democrepublics.com. Right now I'm working on another another website. Um, once I get that up and running, I'll let y'all know um, what that is. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on, on, them, on my new website. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.